Coming to you live from the palatial studios of PBJ Productions. Welcome to Patrick and BJ Talk Real Estate, where we talk about life, the universe, and everything as it relates to real estate. Hey everybody, it's BJ. And Patrick. And we're back talking all things real estate. And today, I have an, a, a report from CTB News. I'm going to read the headline. Uh, the headline reads, not out of the woods, what, a, what softening in the housing market may mean for buyers and sellers. We're not out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods yet. Like the Blair Witch Project. We're stuck in the woods. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it, but I'll take your word for it. Just, it's... <clears throat> I'm not endorsing it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Skip it. Um, <laughs> it's horrible. And I guess what we want to talk about is what does this really mean? Uh, the article just talks about that, you know, we, had, we saw some rebound in the market in December in terms of numbers and sales. We saw things starting to pick up again. I think we're starting to see things start to move again. And we said in another video where we talked about 2024 and our projections for 2024 that we expected to see the market, or at least I, I, my part of it was that I expected to see the market picking up steam as the year progresses. Absolutely, that's, that's where our expectations are, that's where our predictions <clears throat> are. <clears throat> I think uh, getting there, you know, when it's, when uh, CTV News is talking about like, buyers and sellers may not be out of the woods yet, I think it just means like, we're gonna have to be patient. We don't know exactly sure. the uh, expectation of interest rates uh, being lowered. So, you know, is that in the first quarter or is it like in the second quarter? You know, I think optimistically, yeah. we like to think it's gonna happen in the first quarter, it's gonna be there for spring and, you know, let's go. Um, but it, it might take longer. Yeah. And, and sellers will have to be more patient because sure. it's still the sense of urgency for buyers uh, just may not be there yet. That 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 pressure with uh, a better interest rate yeah. <clears throat> just hasn't arrived yet. Well, and I, and I think the other thing is there's not a, I don't think there needs to be a panic one way or the other, right? Like, oh no, I have to get out and sell my house uh, before. You know, so many people like they do that, right? Everybody else is buying, so I'm gonna buy too, right? Yeah. You know, we just witnessed that during COVID and, yeah. but. Yep, and I, I, you know, I think about the house, I, I, I mentioned it before, I drive by it just about yeah i drive by it every day and um i had a client who we wrote an offer on it and mm. what was it? i i may not have the exact number now i believe there was something like 21 or upper 20s no offers yeah so we're not in that market <clears throat> we're not in that season uh we are in a time where there's great value out there for homes that there are some good quality homes that are available at a good price. However, the other part of it is the right home at the right price is still in the Victoria market is still selling. We're still seeing things end up in multiples uh, or, or with multiple offers. Good quality homes, good location. Yeah. Uh, and uh, condition and right. well and well priced. Right. Whereas before just about anything was going into multiples. Yeah. When it was like you couldn't get anything. Right. And that drove people to, you know, bid a bid very emotionally, right? Like, oh, you know, they just put in extra like, hundred. I have 000, to do this because I have 000. to. I have to have a place to live. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so it was a lot of people. Did you know that? Like, even during that time, twenty percent of the buyers were buying all cash. Wow. No, I did not know that. Yeah, and then just recently, I know I touched on it in another video. Uh, this fall, so twenty twenty three fall, I think I don't <clears> know <throat> if it was October or November. We had a spike of cash sales were. 30% of the buyers. That was one month. Okay. But typically the whole year, um, we have a history of about 20% cash buyers. Okay. So there's always equity moving into the market. Right. Yeah. So the gist of the rest of what this article is about and the report is about, it just talks about not taking one month and using that as the benchmark for the year, whether it's a good month or a bad mark month, pardon me. Um, but starting to kind of look beyond that, let me read uh, something here. Um, so when you have to look at more data, like not have like just a snapshot of like what's happening this week or this month, right? You know, what is the trend in six months or what is the trend in like a year or more, right? Yeah. To see what direction. You know, people ask like, oh, is it a good time to buy uh, real estate in Victoria? I'll, I'll show uh, you a chart from the real estate board yeah. from 1982 or something like that, of the average prices of homes coming all the way this way, or we can use the HPI index. It doesn't yeah. matter to me, but you'll yeah. see a constant 
like it, not constant <coughs> increase, <clears throat> but overall you hardly would ever notice the decreases when it when they do yeah. happen. And well, and we, what we know about the Victoria market is historically when there's been a downturn in the market. There has been a rebound within 12 to 18 months of that downturn to past the downturn. Yeah. And we're not making that up. We're, we're borrowing that from our chief econ economist from uh, the uh, BCREA, British, British Columbia Real Estate Association. Yeah. So we, are, we, we did see a, a, a jump in the market in, at the end of the year. We're yeah, we in we're we're in December. Yeah. yeah. So we saw numbers go up in December. Um, I think what the article is talking about, the report is talking about, and what we're saying is, there's a whole lot of year left ahead. Yeah. So we're not going to say just because we had one good month it's going to be great, or because we have one slow month it's a disaster. Uh, I think, I my expectation is still that the market is going to continue to pick up steam as we go. Uh, I think we are going to see interest rates come down, and that. That could happen sooner. I know there's still some issues with trying to get inflation down uh, and working on that number. Um, I won't go past two years. In the last two years, especially since we've do, been doing our podcast, doing videos, yeah. what have we learned? Like, we don't know what's going to happen in the next six months or eight months or a year. <clears throat> like, legislation, uh, especially yeah. in BC or federally. Yeah. You know, different things are going to happen. There's going to be more curveballs. You know, if that's a positive net uh, gain or or <clears throat> or something that's going to be a negative net gain, yeah. At the end, we'll see. But uh, we'll cover all those topics as as we come to keep yeah. or as it comes uh, to keep you informed. Yeah, but that's the gist of what's in this uh, report. And again, we want to just let you know what we what our take is on it. And if you have some thoughts on it. Certainly put it in the comments. Let us know what, what do you think? What is yeah. your opinion? Are we out of the woods yet? Right? If you're a buyer or a seller, you know, are you, are you um, how about this? Is this your year to buy a house or are you waiting for better conditions for, it could be personal uh, conditions yeah. or market conditions. And same thing for seller, you know, would, do you think this is a good time to sell? I think it's a great time to sell because well, if the prices have softened, I have more time to look at properties to make a better, uh, to not make a rush decision on my purchase. That's how I look at it. I think the gap is smaller well, from where houses have come down right. and higher priced houses, like it moving up in the market, sure. not moving down. Yeah. So, and, and I was going to say, and that goes with uh, my thinking on that is it's a good time to sell. Well, you're going to need to buy a home. So if you're going to get a little bit more on the other side of it, yeah, this is a good time. If you, if you can make the numbers work and the rates work and everything else, this is a good time because what you buy is going to be at a better price than if you're going in in a seller's market. That's right. Because that, that, that goes back to the people in that crazy market. Let's say you, you got a 100000 over asking on your sale. Wonderful. And that, and that wasn't unrealistic. That was happening. But then you're the same... Right now you're going you're in to the buy. Same position. Right now you're going yeah. to buy, and now yeah. what do you do? You're in that same situation. So, uh, I think overall w we know a balanced market is better for everybody. Yeah. Um, and overall, this if if the numbers work for you, this is a good time to get in this market or move up in this market, or even if you're looking for investment properties, there may be some options there as well. Yeah. If you agree or disagree, let us know in the comments. You know, put some reasoning behind it because I I do want to know. Yeah. You know, if, if you disagree, what if there's something I don't know we we weren't thinking about, right? Yeah. So we're not we're not um, closed off to hearing what other points of view are. We love yeah. that actually. Yeah. So I encourage you to put that in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you.